That's amazing. It was my brainchild, Sue Ellen's. A space born 32 years ago. January 19th, 1989 at 7 p.m. and I was the one that unlocked the door. So many people said, oh, it'll never last. You can't have a lesbian bar on Cedar Spring. General Manager Kathy Jack is determined. Yeah to keep lasting through and past the pandemic that shut them down for a year. It's always nice to come home. This is like home for a lot of people. Friday at 5, this space, Dallas's only lesbian bar, will finally reopen its doors. All queer women, cis and trans, non-binary people, and trans men. We are active members of the community, and we actually also didn't know that the numbers were so low. Erica Rose and Alina Street direct the Lesbian Bar Project. Their goal is to support bars with fundraisers and projects like this documentary. In the 80s, when Sue Ellen's opened, they say there were about 200 lesbian bars in the country. Now, they say just 21. There's a stark contrast between going to a lesbian bar versus going to a bar that is catered to gay men. It's empowering and it's... Uh, so vital that we have a space that is catered to us and our culture. There's that word again, space. This one hasn't housed dancing shoes or wall shaking music in a while. I can't wait. We've been in here getting it ready. And I want, I want everybody to walk in and just, you know, just feel it, you know? I just want them to come in and feel the love that we have for them. And they will. Because the thing about space is that when it's finally made available, its purpose can finally be fulfilled. They will come. In Dallas. Our phones are ringing off the wall. They will come. I'm Morgan Young.